Hello and welcome to a new Lua tutorial. Uh, in this episode I'm going to go over how you can use save data to save uh, stuff across sessions. Usually your Lua code is confined into uh, the session during which it runs. Like if your player dies or if it, he beats the level or the stuff is discarded. Uh, if he exits the level it's all discarded and you're started with a blank slate the next time. What I want to do is I want to write a little bit of code for you today which makes it so that dragon coins are a saved collectible. Like if you collect all dragon coins in a level in a single run, uh, they save and uh, they will disappear. Um, you can augment this kind of code for yourself uh, later on to make like a currency out of it, but I want to focus on like the uh, easy stuff and uh, leave your imagination to make the uh, more elaborate stuff on your own time. So what I want to do is I want to actually go into a level global script because this would be also a good example for like an episode write script. I don't actually need any of these this time except for on start. What we first need to do is we uh, want to figure out when our dragon coin dies. Of course what we could do is we could um, we could just keep track of uh, of it through events, but uh, then we would have to need to have make like layers and events for every level in our episode, just so we can have the dragon coin style. We can do it without. <clears throat> so, what I want to introduce to you is uh, on NPC kill. Um, on NPC kill is a function that is invoked whenever any NPC dies in the level. So, uh, whenever Goomba dies, whenever a dragon coin dies. Dragoncoin is NPC 247, so uh, let's quickly start off if NPC killed NPC. ID is not 247, then return, and so that we just kind of break out of it and uh, we can do the rest of our code below. So uh, now we have, uh, we know when a Dragoncoin dies, but there could be several different reasons for the death. You can see all of them on like a constant, the Luna Lua constants page. Um, there are harm type jump from below NPC lava. Harm type off screen is harm type 9. I don't like that name for it in principle because it is shared with other stuff. If kill reason is not harm type off screen, then turn end because we also don't want anything to do with like a dragon coin killed by a spin jump. Um, harm type off screen happens when the NPC dies during off screen shenanigans but also when it's collected by the player which is really weird as like a double thing because now we need to do extra checks for um, when it has actually been collected so luckily if colliders dot collide player and killed NPC uh, I need to capitalize colliders but this is the gist of it. Um, this is like a function in the Collider's namespace, which uh, also has its own wiki page, which I'm going to link below. Um, which lets you check for like collisions between different objects, and what I want to check here is between the player and a killed NPC. Uh, to see if the uh, dragon coin, which we have established here, which died from an off-screen kill reason, has actually been collected by the player. <coughs> So what we what do we want to do? We probably want to like increment a variable local um, dragon coin counter is zero. So we have zero dragon coins collected right now, and we want to say dragon uh, is dragon coin counter plus one. And uh, if dragon coin counter is five, then um, Assuming we only have five dragon coins in each level, uh, we can then use this to just um, determine what we want to have happen when the dragon coins have all been collected. So, uh, pr in previous versions, you would use something called the data class, which is bad and has been replaced. So, uh, there is a new thing uh, called save data. Save data is a table which uh, you can save to, and it will save when the player wins. Uh, and stuff like that. Whenever uh, Smurvex would save by itself, this is also when it saves, which is really handy. Save data dot no dragon coins. Uh, dragon coins collected. 
collected is true. Which is literally just what you do. Save data dot dragon coins collected is true. And in on start we can check if save data dot dragon coins collected, then we can then um, go over all our dragon coins in on start and kill them. <laughs> Simple as that. Uh, we can kill them with kill reason nine because it's not going to be collected. <clears throat> so um, that's it for the time being, of course. Uh, there are still some quirks to this we want to figure out, so I want to actually uh, get myself an Andra. Uh, just so I can show you um, what the Dragon Coin counter looks like during play. So there's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we have collected all of them, and if I now restart the level, they're all gone. Really cool stuff. Save data makes uh, saving stuff across runs so much easier than it used to be. So if you have used the data class before, you will know what I'm talking about. But if not, then uh, uh, good thing you never needed to experience that. It was very convoluted, but this is very easy, as you can see for yourself. Um, there's just one thing I want to change, which is that right now this doesn't really work for multiple levels in an episode. Like if you had save data dot dragon coins collected, that will apply to the entire episode, and if you collected all dragon coins in one level, it will then consider all dragon coins safe for all levels. Um, easy fix, uh, we can use level specific save data for that, which is something I also encourage you to do for uh, collab levels or uh, in a collab episode or like contest levels in a contest episode, uh, so that you just don't interfere with possible save data from other people. Makes the specific save data indexed by the file name of our level, which means that we probably won't get any conflicts in the uh, directory we're in. And then we can just say local uh, look uh, level save data is save data level dot file name, <clears throat> which is now ent uh, either an empty table or what we had in it before. So if we replace this with level SD, uh, we will now have a solution which, of course, we need to collect it again because the variable is different, which we are looking for. Which um, this solution now works for every level in the episode regardless of what name it has, as long as it has five dragon coins in it, uh, those will be properly saved. And by accessing save data level that file name, uh, you can also use it in your code to um, dot dragon coins collected uh, to say for example text dot print all dragon coins have been collected. Um, just like a, as a little reward message, for example, which just appears when uh, the code has figured out, hey, the dragon coins have been collected in this level, we do not need to... Uh, we want to show this now. So, uh, there is actually a uh, cousin, so to speak, to save data, which is called game data. Uh, it works the exact same way as save data, but all of its info is discarded at the end of the session. So if you like close uh, the editor and then open it again, you will um, have uh, a blank slate to work with, which we wouldn't have with save data. A uh, few things that game data is really useful for is stuff like uh, skipping cutscenes automatically. Like if you program yourself a cutscene in um, Smovex and then at the end toggle like a variable in game data uh, that skips the entire cutscene to make the boss fight after it easier to access for example. Uh, you can do that through game data then you don't have to worry about it uh, still having an effect in future sessions but players which uh, play through your boss in that session will have an easier time uh, getting back to it and not having to watch the same cutscene over and over again. It's just a very easy implementation which you might want to use for certain uh, saving stuff which shouldn't be as permanent as stuff saved in save data. So uh, I hope you learned something today and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial.